Hi folks, it is Wednesday the 31st and Heather is at a day program today so I have some time off and I thought I would get to this uh, video that was on my list talking about some of my products and the tools in my caregiver's toolbox that might help you some of the some might be some tips here that are useful to you so um, in no particular order I'm just going to go through some things that I use. Uh, well, first of all, okay, uh, some months ago, I had this bracelet made up. I think it was on Etsy, and it's a, like a silicone bracelet, and it has a metal label here that says Heather's name, my name, and phone number, and our address, and it says Alzheimer's. So I thought this would be handy. You know, it never really got used. She didn't really want to wear it. And Heather just stopped going anywhere independently. So this just is kind of sat in a drawer. But I highly recommend that if you have somebody who's out and about in the community, get them a bracelet with their name and then your name and your emergency phone number and then Alzheimer's on it. This is so important. And likewise, I bought some... Uh, clothing labels, the kind you would put on a kid's uh, uh, shirt for summer camp. And I took a Sharpie, a fine point Sharpie marker and wrote my name and number on it. I said emergency, John, and then my phone number. And I put that in her coats. So that's fine for fall, spring and winter, uh, but not so great for summer. However, again, Heather doesn't wander. But just in case she does wander, I put uh, Apple Air Tags in all of her jackets and coats. Well, in four of them, I think. I labeled them H1, H2, H3, H4. Um, and she does. She doesn't take those out. She just leaves them. I have them tucked away in, in corners of pockets. And that's also a good approach. It's a Bluetooth tracker. It's not real-time GPS. So it's, uh, you know, limited use. But if your person were to wander away and you were panicking... You could look and maybe get an indication if they're on your street or if they're, you know, got on a bus or something like that. It's not a bad idea. So in the summertime, of course, she's not wearing her coat. So I bought these little rubber holders and I have air tags in her shoes. And she only has really two pairs of shoes she wears this time of year. So I have one on each of her shoes and these uh, don't get taken off. She seems to not even know they exist. And if she were to get lost, I'd have a stand a chance of finding out where she is. So that's highly recommended air tags. The other thing is if your person uh, uses a phone, carries a phone, I can't emphasize enough how great it is to have this app called Life360. So it's Life360, the number 360, installed on their phone. And it is a real-time GPS tracker. So there's no delay. If your person is out walking around, you know exactly where they are, like within a few paces, um, any time, all the time, real time. I highly recommend it. It's a free app and uh, it works uh, flawlessly from what I can tell. So there's some tips. Now my phone keeps going dark. I'm just going to keep tapping the screen to bring it back to life. I don't know why, why it's doing that. So, okay. So <clears throat> let's move on to other products that are pretty essential here in the caregiving arsenal. Uh, microfiber cloths. I bought a pack of probably 40 of these microfiber cloths and uh, for, you know, obvious cleaning, I have a stack of, say, 20 in my downstairs bathroom and a stack of 20 in my upstairs bathroom. And they can be used for washing a body, wiping off a body, like sometimes people with dementia no longer wipe themselves appropriately on the toilet. You can wet one of these with warm water and clean them up. They're highly absorbent, so good for accidents and leaks and things. Get a big stack of microfiber cloths. They're cheap. They're easy to wash, highly absorbent, and they work great. Can't say enough about how great that is. Okay, um, 
Back before I had Heather in absorbent underwear, there were a few accidents in the house on furniture. So uh, I bought a pet stain vacuum thing. Now it's a very common, I think they go by the name of Green Machine or whatever. This is a Bissell and it sprays a special enzyme spray out of here. It wets your cushion or wherever there's a mess. And then this is a liquid vacuum. So it sucks the liquid out with a little bristle brushes. And this has been, you know, I'm pretty careful, pretty fastidious with cleanliness in the house. This has been good to keep my furniture clean and uh, I don't really need it anymore. Well, maybe I will, but for now it's in on my shelf of things. Things that I'm going to need. The other thing on my shelf is pet urine control enzyme spray. Get some of this urine odor eliminator. And it is for pets, but it works equally well for people, of course. And, uh, you know, where, where I use this, maybe in, in her shoes, if there's a bit of urine gets in her shoes. Well, I may not wash the shoe right away, I will eventually, but for the for the time being, I spray this enzyme spray in the shoe and it completely eliminates odor. And I'm pleased to say that the house doesn't stink. It doesn't smell like an old person's house, which was a real concern of mine. I didn't want it to smell like an old person's, you know, pissy smelling house. So that's one of the reasons I bought this enzyme. Um, and I'm not, I don't hesitate to use it if needed. So far, I uh, haven't had to use it a whole lot. So there goes my phone again. Anyways. Uh, so there's another thing, another product I got, and that is called uh, Peapod Mats Waterproof Bed Wetting Incontinence Mat. And it's a, uh, I'm reading here, it says a unique triple layer design with a leak-proof, breathable, reusable bed wetting incontinence mat. No more changing wet bed sheets. Um, you know, lay it flat on top of your bed sheets. Doesn't need anything to keep it in place because it's grippy on the bottom and it lays flat. It holds up to six cups of liquid. So that's a liter, six cups of liquid and you can wash it 500 times. It is uh, a really great product, not cheap. I forget how much this was. It was like 70 or 80 bucks. So this was, this was not cheap, but I'll show you, I'll show you the size here. It's uh, you know, this is a, this is a big thing. So I use this for, for the bed under Heather and the, under the bed. And it's a, uh, you know, it's a big product. Well, it saves a lot of laundry, saves a lot of fuss and laundry. I highly recommend an absorbent pad of that kind uh, to put on your bed under your person. Okay, the next product is, I already covered this or I showed it in a previous video, and it is a portable bidet or peri care bottle. And I fill this up with body temperature water, warm water, when Heather's on the toilet, especially after she does a number two, because she doesn't wipe anymore. So this, I'll show it, I brought a vase here, or a vase, you know, you put it in underneath, in the back behind her on the toilet and you spray the water and it's like a it's like a bidet very effective at cleaning your person without the use of paper and without pushing them around and uh, i mean i can't say enough about how effective and useful this is uh, like my other things, I have two of them. I have one in my upstairs bathroom and one in my downstairs bathroom. And this is just a fantastic product. Um, it's made by, well, I don't even know who it's made by. And I'm going to try to leave links in the description to these products. Um, so you can look them up on your own Amazon account or whatever and buy them. Highly recommend this is worth its weight in gold and it's cheap. So get one or however many bathrooms you have, get, get these things. They are fantastic and uh, really makes things easy. 
So I talked on another video about the tech I use to help uh, monitor the house, I guess. And I use uh, cameras, video cameras. I have a few, I have a front doorbell, smart doorbell with a built-in video camera. And uh, so I also have a door sensor on the front and back door. So when somebody opens those doors, I hear a little bleep. And I think it's on my phone and maybe my iPad as well. And it buzzes my, my watch too. I've got an Apple watch, so it buzzes my watch. So very unobtrusive, a little warning that the doors have opened. And that is really puts my mind at ease that she's not going to go out the door and go wandering. Or on the rare occasion that she has opened the door, I'll just accompany her. And a couple of times she's just gone for a walk up and down the street. Well, Heather's not a prisoner in her house. She's entitled to go for a walk up and down the street, but at least she's not going alone. I can go along with her, follow along. So those door sensors are great. And I, I, I bought a new, another box of them here. They're my, made by the Wise Company, W-Y-Z-E, uh, -Y or for my American friends, W-Y-Z-E, <laughs> the Wise Company. And they make my cameras as well. And it's a, it's a very simple, simple little device. Like it uh, comes in a bag, I'll open this bag. It's a two part thing, it has two parts. So, uh, you know, you, you mount one, this part maybe on your door and this part on the door frame. They have adhesive on the back and it's a, it's a magnet. The magnet controls the switch. So when they're, they're apart, like this far apart, it triggers the signal. When they're back together, it closes the circuit. The thing with the sensors, though, is that these don't talk to the Internet. So you have to buy what's called a hub which was, I think, $90 or so. Most of these sensors need, need a hub to talk to. The, the hub talks to the internet. These sensors just talk to your hub. So uh, that's a little extra step. The cameras don't need a hub. They operate independently and they're like 30 bucks Canadian. So less than that American, less than that US dollars. And uh, they work fantastic. So uh, do I have anything else? Maybe I can pick up my camera here, my camera phone, and just show you the the door thing. Let's see if I can flip my camera around. Yeah, it worked. So I'm going to open this and just listen to see if you can hear the sensor make a noise. Did you hear that little boop? Listen, listen. See, that was it. And... So there's one side of the sensor and the other side is on the door. And when they close, so it's as simple as that. So like I said, I have one on the front door too. And uh, you know, I have some cameras around the house. Like I have this, here's, here's one of my wise cameras and that uh, monitors, looks around my kitchen and my living room, and it just puts my mind at ease. I can check in if I'm in the, having a shower or in my basement or doing a laundry or something. I can just reassure myself that everything's okay with Heather. So that's my, <laughs> that's my care helper, caregiver toolbox review this morning and uh, I'm sure there are other things but for now these are the big ones that are helping me out and look my channel just keeps growing and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all the supportive comments I'm getting it's just really warms my heart and I read every comment and I reply to many of them maybe most of them and uh, it's just great now and I see that many of you are going through your own struggles but you know in general it feels like a community it feels like we have a community here and and I'm just eternally grateful for that um, YouTube has offered me to monetize my channel so I think I'm going to go through with that that was not my motive in doing this but if they're going to throw me a few bucks here and there I'll take it I could I could use the money to help me pay my bills 
Uh, but again, that was not the incentive or the motive here. So um, that's my update for today. Hang in there. Stay strong. You're not alone. Reach out for help if you need it. And please follow along. Please subscribe and leave your comments. I really appreciate it. And that is it for today. We'll catch up again soon. Thanks. Bye.